Hello YouTube, TJDC Life here. Today I have another knife to unbox for you. And this one, I bought it from a Facebook group. Uh, let's jump right into it. I'm using my Oz Machine Company Rosewell, the Silver Surfer to unbox this. Cut this box open. Here is a knife box. Uh, looks like it's a uh, Oz Machine Company Josewell. Proudly made in the USA. Let's see what's inside this box. Okay, we got the COA card here. Rosewell is the model name and serial number is 1880 and date of birth is June 6, 2023 and the steel is 63 to 64 HRC Magnica and it's radio frag mailing pattern and all TI construction. We got a cool sticker as well. Set this aside. And here is the knife. As you can see, this one has that blurple anodized accent. Pivot screw, body screw, and the backspacer looks super cool take a closer look let's give it a flick super super good d10 snappy action and the blade is stone washed And this radio frag mailing is stunning. Milled titanium pocket clip. Dark stone washed handle and pocket clip. The closing action is super smooth. You can see, check out the centering. Centering is dead center. Yep. The Ergo's on this knife is just amazing. You can have all four finger grab. And the jimping on here is quite comfortable as well. The cutting performance is second to none yep let's uh do some comparison um first let's uh, compare it to my uh sewer surfer rosewell quite the difference this one is shiny Golf Parter milling, and this one is dark stone washed uh, radio frag milling. Cool. How about compare it to the PM2? As you can see, the Rosewell is uh, quite shorter than the PM2. How about Compared to the Para 3, it's quite similar in length with the Para 3. 
transparency is just a little bit longer uh, in blade and in handle. Okay. How about compare it to the SPK Lamilla? It's similar in length with the Lamilla as well. A little bit shorter in blade and a little bit shorter in handle. Okay, how about compare it to the Vero Engineering Axon? This is the regular size. As you can see, the Axon is quite longer than the Rosie, both in blade and handle. Okay, how about compare it to the Tactile Knife Co. Archer? The Archer is quite longer as well. Okay. So yeah, this knife is not a big knife, but for small hands like mine, it feels just perfect. It feels perfect for EDC and the cutting performance is so good. Uh, on this knife. Cool. Let's uh, see how much this knife weighs. Okay. This knife is 2.935 ounce. So it's pretty light, which makes this perfect for EDC. Cool, I really dig the color contrast on the dark stone wash handle and the blurple hardware. You just give this knife a pop. Cool, there you go. This is my first impression and unboxing of this uh, dark stone washed radio frag pattern and blurple accent. Uh, Rosewell, let me know what you think in the comment section and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.